on today's daily sprint, we're talking about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. And today is a dose of truth. That's our 2022 word is truth. So we talked a little bit about a hard truth about showing up um, in our last daily sprint. Okay, some of you are probably like, he's talking to me, jerk. No, no, I'm, if you're all, I guess if you're not showing up, I'm talking to you and in, in your faith, fitness, finances. Um, but today we're gonna talk about um, the home court advantage. Did, I didn't know this, but you have, if you're like a, an NBA basketball team, you have a remarkable, a statistically relevant um, home court advantage, advantage if you're playing at home. Like they've, they've proven it, gambling experts know this out and if you're casting, you know, um, you know bets or, or whatnot, there is a huge advantage to being, or a statistically relevant advantage to being at the home court. So well, why is that? You know, if we're playing at home, why are we more likely to score more points? And it's for a few reasons. One, you've got cheerleaders there. Now, yeah, both sides have cheerleaders, but you have more fans there kind of revving you up, lifting you up. Come on, you can do it. You know, if you're if you're home here in Indianapolis, you're gonna have probably like 70, 80, maybe probably 90% of the fan base, depending on who you're playing, is gonna be there supporting your team. Okay? So you wanna look at that, your environment. So if you want to win at life, what environments? This is kind of part of showing up too. Are you showing up to environments that are lifting you up, that are challenging you, that are your fans? So if you're trying to get better at, at your faith, are you showing up to church where people are lifting you up, challenging you? They're your fans in business. You're trying to make more money, okay? How do you expect to make more money without a fan base? Yeah, you could do it, but it's going to be an upstream battle because you don't have anyone around you. Matter of fact, if you're trying to make more money in your business, you probably have people around you telling you, don't do that, come on, party with us, you know, money's the root of all evil, or whatever it is that people without money would say, okay? But when you show up to your business development program, they're like celebrating your success, they're your cheerleaders. That is statistically going to increase your business. So why would you not show up, okay? Then you look at, well, who's coaching you, all right? When you are, showing up, you're, you're, you're plugging in to people, hey, who is coaching me? Okay, so we have environment, all right, it's proven to increase. You have your coach, your mentor. How often are you drawing from that person's expertise? Are you drawing from it when things are like in the gutter? Oh my gosh, I need to relaunch my business. I haven't, I haven't plugged in in six months and oh, you know now the bills are adding up and I don't know what to do. Or have you been plugging in all along? So your coaches and your mentors are gonna give you an unfair advantage. Okay, so showing up is gonna give you an unfair advantage. Plugging in, okay, if you have a coach, I would bleed that person dry during their business hours. And I don't mean that in a mean way, okay? But guess what? I talk to several coaches daily, daily. Michael Clark, Matthew Jones, they, they hear from Jesse every single day. Every single day, sometimes, you know, maybe not so much on Saturday or Sunday, but they hear from me every single day, man. I am showing up because I want to be the best version of myself. And then also look at who is leading you. So your coach isn't always your leader. They're a form of leader, but who else in your life is leading you in the direction that you want to go, okay? So home court advantage, all right? Showing up to your team meetings, plugging into your coach, and plugging into your leaders will give you an unfair advantage.